You know, if we got a sponsorship with these guys, we'd be all right, I think. Yeah, that'd be solid. Any beer company sponsoring us would be great. I feel like we probably hit the target demographic. We are, you know, older. Lots of people our age are drinking this. And it keeps you trim. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty good. So let's do this video, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we're going to do that. Uh, now, yeah. Good evening. Welcome to our new episode of... Oh, I'm Dick Dickerson, yes, and this is yes, this is my associate, Doctor Battle Smash. Hello. Welcome to the inaugural episode of this brilliance that we have thought up, which is called Battle Smash Reviews Pedals. Now, what's going to be different from this uh, pedal review, as opposed to the hundreds of other channels that do pedal reviews, is they tend to take the pedal off and isolate the pedal, and you can really hear the individual pedal, but not this, not this. One. We're going to leave it hooked up to our board, which is not because of laziness, but because of you're going to want to hear a flange. What does that pedal sound like with a flanger on it? What does that pedal sound like with a distortion on it? What does that pedal sound like with an echo? You know, all the different kinds of effects. So um, that's what we're going to do here tonight. Let's get started. First episode, we've got the boss. Chromatic Tuner TU3. All right, let's let's see how this, right. this tuner does her up. Is it? Uh, have you got it? You got it hooked up? Get I that volume have... up. Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Where's the cord? Oh, oh there we yep, go. There we that go. cord in. Cord and we're gonna give you a really good shot of the Chromatic Tuner. You know what? I don't think this is really a good look at this. This cord is not working here. Hang on a second. Get it, get it good. This is this is the show. Let's tune her up. Get that perfectly in tune. We want to know how this Boss Chromatic Tuner stacks up to the other tuners that we have used on the road. We already know the durability is quite good. Um, we've dropped this one a lot of times. Seems like it's working. Those notes are getting locked in there with like that that Death Star kind of thing from Star Wars. You guys seen that? Where it, it zooms in and then you know you're going to hit the two meter long Wampa Rat. Okay, let's see how it looks like he's got it tuned up. Let's uh, let's see how this went. All right, so we've got uh, we've got this tuned up now perfectly. So let's um, let's test it out. Let's see how this boss tuner performs next to the likes of Polytune, the likes of Behringer, the likes of uh, Korg. I'm sure they've got some tuners. Uh, there's a lot of tuners out there. Let's see how this one goes. Play that. Play it. Play. Give us a G. Alright, give us a, give us like a D, maybe. You do that right, right? I think that this finger, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I think you'd agree with me that uh, it's done an excellent job of tuning. Very good, very good. Uh, let's give this pedal a... I give this pedal a four point. No, you know what? I don't want to go that high on the first episode. Oh, not the guitar, not the guitar. I don't want to go that high. Uh, let's give this pedal a three point five out of five. Three point five pedal smashes out of five. Very good tuner. Do you have anything to add, Doctor Battle Smash? Um, I use them regularly, and I'm constantly in tune. Okay, good. We'll see you on the next episode of Battle Smash Reviews <laughs> Finals.